the DoorDash card is now coming out. So um, what's your thought? First off, what's your thoughts on these cards that these companies are putting out? Because we have the Lyft Direct card. We have the Uber One, uh, Uber Pro card. We have now the Dasher card and all of these other cards that these companies are trying to get. Uh, what, what's your thoughts on this? And are you going to sign up for, for one of these cards, whether it's DoorDash, Uber Eats? Um, what, what's your thoughts? Let us know. Uh, I, I'm not going to sign up for them. Uh, the, I actually know nowhere near uh, as much about this as I probably should considering the niche I'm in. So uh, take this with a grain of salt. Um, okay. For me, I just want to keep my bank my bank. Uh, having said that, I understand that, uh, like, for a while there, DoorDash was doing 10% uh, cash back with, like, Dasher Direct. I, I can understand the motivation to want to use a card like that. And if I'm not mistaken, at least with that specific app, you can switch back and forth between your payment methods uh, with each cash out. So if you were planning on getting, you know, gas or something like that, I could certainly understand why somebody would want to do it. But for me, I have a high yield uh, savings account and investments that I would rather. Uh, have my money go into uh, rather than something with a DoorDash branded logo on it. But that's just my my two cents on that. Yeah, I uh, looked into, you know, there was an article actually on our blog, Chris, that um, one of the contributors did. And I did not know, by the way, that instant cash out, you know, used to be 50 cents with both Lyft and Uber when it was going up to 85 cents. With DoorDash, it's like buck 99. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm like, what? But dollar right. 99. So DoorDash actually... If you are, you know, doing the instant cash out or whatever it's called with DoorDash, it's probably it's better to do to get this card, right? And then pay buck ninety nine every time because they're gonna basically do what Uber Pro card is doing or the Lyft card is doing. Every time you do a delivery, it's gonna automatically get credited free into this card. Uh, I haven't read the small print. You know, Uber has some issues with it. Uh, yes, the, with this card, you can, you know, I think it's by stride and you can get your, uh, if you find an ATM that's free cash, you can get your cash free. But then I think uh, I didn't find the, um, you know, bank transfers, how much they're going to cost each time you do that versus that buck 99. But if you're saving buck 99 every time, you know, let's say if you're cashing out two, three times a week, that's six, eight bucks, four bucks, whatever. Um, you know, I, I think it's probably out of the three cards that this may be the best one that you're saving buck 99 as opposed to anything else. Um, yeah, I just I, I, you're not alone in that opinion, Zach, that <laughs> most yeah. drivers I talk to, they're not going to get the Lyft card or the, or the Uber card. You know, oh, my, my I, I, because I don't yeah, want to. Right you know, the... Yeah, you're not either. Right. So, I mean, to me, it's like. You know they know enough about me already they know where i drive when i drive what i do or you know who i drive with where i you know who, what passenger mm -hmm. and now they want to know where i spend my money and i'm like no i think you know enough about me i think you just don't touch my money <laughs> sure i, I think right. at the end of the day you know it boils down to somebody's uh, financial situation and they they may find a lot of benefit in the no fee uh, withdraws uh you know or the 10 percent cash back when they were doing it but for me personally yeah i I agree with you. I don't. I don't want anything with a uh, a branded logo on it for a uh, uh, driving company. <laughs> I agree with you. Yeah. yeah. Same. <laughs> well, so, not only that, but the, the benefits that they claim that they offer aren't even that great. Like to me, I look at them. I'm like, I would never really use them. Like even the even the percent cash back, I could either use upside, uh, which mm -hmm. if I gotta get gas around here, um, or I just drive down to the Union Reservation. And my gas is 35 cents cheaper there. So mm -hmm. it's like, there, there's no benefit for me to even do it because I look at it and I'm like, I don't care about snacks. Mm -hmm. Like I'm trying to eat healthier. So I, you know, that type of thing. And then I, I that means I have to spend money to get the snacks. It, it, to me, it's just not worth it anyway. I do yeah. the same thing. Yeah, I do the same snacks thing. Snacks are you not even free, bro. Snacks mm -hmm. are not even free. I have to buy something <laughs> on Uber Eats to get some Slurpee at 7-Eleven. That's bullshit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me The Money Club with Sergio and myself, Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone.